pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everybody to our meeting tonight on behalf of the board. Uh, Mr. Latchmore, could you call, take a roll call attendance please? Trustee Palke. Here. Trustee Menard. Here. Trustee Rodriguez. Here. Trustee Arno. Present. Mayor LaBounty. Here. Thank you. Um, we have nobody who signed up to talk and address to the board from the public. So we'll go right to the uh, acceptance of the minutes of the of the October 20 or October 17, 2022 regular meeting. Everybody should have a copy of that. Is there anybody that would like to have any additions or comments on those minutes? If not, then I need a motion to accept those minutes. I make a motion to accept the minutes as printed. Second. All those in favor of accepting the October 17, <coughs> 2022 minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, bills? Uh, uh, Mrs. Spelke? Uh, no additions, no deletions. Uh, do I have a motion to pay the bills as we have uh, set forth? Make a motion to pay the bills. Second. All those in favor of paying the bills, say aye. 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 All those opposed? The, the ayes have it. Uh, bills will be paid. Uh, correspondence from uh, the administrator, Mr. Latchmore. Mr. Mayor, I do have a couple things for correspondence. The first thing that I'd like to, uh, to read is an email that the, um, that the village received, and this is how it goes. My family cannot express how blessed we are to have a group of people who, work, who worked on Smith Street since we brought our mother home, which became our family home, from the hospital and where we spent last months of her life. We all cared for her with the help of HCR home care, hospice, and other aids, and many caring friends extended family. The village and county road crews were doing preparation and repaving Smith Street during the entire time. The crews did way beyond what was called for to assure that we could get in and out of my driveway to take care of our mother. The road crew were very professional at their job, very kind to all of us. We can't thank them enough. Once again, I have to say how blessed I am to live in a great village I always tell my family how lucky I am to have such great neighbors. God bless you all. Vicki Douglas, the family of Eleanor Filino. Vicki Douglas's mother. I would just like to uh, publicly thank uh, Mr. Adam Menard for, uh, and his work crew for the fine work they did on Smith Street. And that letter is uh, a testament to uh, what was achieved uh, on Smith Street. And uh, I hope all the residents are as happy as Miss. Uh, Mrs. Douglas, and I'm sure they are. Uh, I went up with the administrator and uh, we checked the Smith Street uh, road and it was done, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and a wonderful, a wonderful job. And once again, that, that's Adam Menard and his uh, work crew, they deserved uh, a round of, of commendation or congratulations. When you see these people, uh, it's always good to hear nice things about our work crew and it goes a long way to uh, creating a good atmosphere within our village. Thank you very much. Mr. Latsmore, anything else? Yes, I also received a letter dated November 4th of 2022 from ERS Investors, and the letter is addressed to Mary LaBounty. Over the last few months, both ERS Ross's Point LLC, subsidiary of ERS Investors Inc., and the village of Ross's Point have been working constantly to bring new business and development to the village. Both you and the village administrator, Christopher Latchmore, have been instrumental in securing our newest tenant, who will be announced shortly once the lease is finalized. ERS is appreciative of both Mayor LaBounty and Mr. Latchmore taking time out of their schedule to meet with the potential tenant. It is our understanding that both of you will be traveling to Canada in the near future to observe the manufacturing that this tenant has currently going. This type of willingness to meet with potential tenants and travel to Canada to observe the current operation is the definition of being pro-business. Most recently, both the Mayor LaBounty and Mr. Latchmore were able to expedite 
The variance application with the county, which was passed by a vote of nine approval to zero abstaining. This tenant will begin with distribution in Ross's Point and looking to grow to manufacturing within the next five to 10 years. They will occupy approximately 60,000 square feet of our property with the right of the first refusal to expand into other areas of the property. Once the tenant is established, we encourage all people who want to work to apply. ERS will actively work with the village to bring more substantial business to Ross's Point. We greatly appreciate your ability to analyze and understand the success of our property will be in turn produce success in Ross's Point. And sincerely, Mark A. Haynes, managing partner. Very good. The only thing I would like to add to that is uh, you mentioned in that letter myself and the administrator. This is a team effort. This whole board deserves credit. We work together as a team. This isn't just Mayor LeBounty or Administrator Latchmore. Uh, we have constant communication. I try to keep all the trustees informed of what's going on, and I can assure the residents that this is a pro-business attitude from the whole board. We are here to protect the residents, but we're also here to promote business within our community that's safe and makes sense for the uh, internal boundaries of our village. So uh, rest assured that we proceed cautiously, but we proceed with the intent of making our village a better place to live and creating jobs. And this is this not from my standpoint, this is from Trustee Belke, Trustee Menard, Trustee Rodriguez, and Trustee Arnold. Uh, they all contribute, and I can't take sole credit for it, and I never will. This is a team effort, and I will repeat that. Uh, and uh, also, uh, Mr. Latchmore, our administrator, is uh, one uh, valuable employee for us. He, he's been on the phone. He's made meetings. He, excuse me. He's. Uh, we are going to go up to Montreal. We're going to inspect this uh, warehousing facility. It is connected to Walmart in Canada, uh, and hopefully, it'll expand to Walmart USA. And at some point within the next three to five years, if everything works out, uh, we could go from a possible 10 to 20 jobs to maybe up to 50 jobs with some small manufacturing. This is no, there's no promises being made, but there is potential here, and we want to keep all channels open. And uh, for the record, Mr. Stalcott has been very cooperative. He's one of the owners of the building, and we talk with him almost on a daily basis. And we, he now understands that what the mayor and the administrator is doing is to protect the village and also promote business within. And Mr. Stalka has been out front and the communication has been wonderful. And we hope to keep that going in that direction. So uh, basically that's all I want to say. But there is a lot of good things happening uh, behind the scenes. And the residents can rest assured that we're working on your behalf. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Lachimar? A uh, couple more items, uh, Mayor LeBounty. Um, first of all, what I'd like to mention to the board is, as you all could see, um, the ice is down and the rink is in full operation. This is not possible without the help of Mike LeBlanc. I want to, or Mike Lemieux, I want personally want to thank uh, Mike Lemieux for all the time that he spent with me and the rest of the crew. I'd like to thank uh, Greg, Dan, Grant. I'd also like to thank um, Heath Carden. Thank you, Heath. He's present here today. Um, John Bernard, um, for all your assistance that you provided. Um, and, and I'm sure I forgot a couple people, but it's, it's been a group effort. It hasn't been just one person involved. And I want to thank the whole village um, crew for making this possible because back in July, I mean, it was really up in the air as far as how far we could go, so. I, I just want to add to that, uh, Mr. Latchmore. Uh, I would like to thank publicly uh, Trustee Belke and Trustee Arnold who worked on the brine pumps when we had a difficult situation uh, uh, last uh, weekend, uh, along with Mr. Bernard and, and uh, Mr. Cardan. They provided the assistance and the technical knowledge that we needed to keep our brine pumps up. And, and lastly, uh, I hate to uh, give too much credit to the administrator, but Mr. the administrator has got his work clothes on, helped pour this ice, 
helped learn how to run the Zamboni, and he's been a very important part of getting this ice arena up and operating. And so Mr. Latchmore deserves a lot of credit also. Thank you. Anything, anything else? I'd like to add to that, just like to thank everybody. Um, we are shorthanded at the, at the Civic Center right now, and it did take a lot of extra hands. So yes, I would just like to thank everybody that worked and got the ice up and running, and you guys did a great job. And once again, it's a team effort, and that's what we need yep. in this village, and it's working. The atmosphere has changed. We are working together as a village, as a village board. We are working together as a village work crew. And I believe in my mind and my heart, things have changed in the last seven months and we're going in the right direction. Thank you. Mr. Latchmore, any more correspondence? And the only other thing that I would like to um, mention on the record is um, our San Laterno. Um, get well, hope you get back to work soon. Hey, that's it, Mr. Latchmore? Yes. Okay. The only uh, item that I have to bigger, uh, bring up is the purchase of a new Kubota tractor from Dragoon Farm Equipment for the Civic Center. Uh, just for the public's information, we had budgeted uh, $22,937 for this particular item, and uh, we were able to purchase uh, this tractor under budget, uh, approximately uh, $2,500 savings. And we're, uh, it's approximately $20,419.27. And uh, part of that reduction was we did, at this point, we did not find a need for the 72 inch uh, mid mount mower. And we did not find a need at this point for the snow pusher. It's not saying we might not need these pieces of equipment in the future, but right now, uh, it did not make sense to spend the additional money when it's not needed. So, uh, if there's no questions on what I just said, I need a, uh, uh, a motion from the board for uh, this item, and I'll t have Mr. Latchmore uh, do a roll call uh, vote for this particular item. Make a motion to ask the purchase the Kubota tractor. Second. Mr. Latchmore. Trustee Palkey. Aye. Trustee Bernard. Aye. Trustee Rodriguez? Aye. Trustee Arno? Aye. Mayor O'Bounty? Aye. And the uh, quota has passed and will be purchased by, for the village. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, that's uh, all I have to bring up. And uh, Trustee Arno, uh, do you have anything you'd like to address? Yes. Uh, we're having a Christmas uh, toy parade again in the village. Uh, it will be on the board out here and it's for December 2nd. It starts at six o'clock. We're gonna have uh, Christmas tree lighting that night. Also, the kids are gonna meet in the park, Ralph's Park, and march down to the big Christmas tree by the village, by the gazebo. And we're gonna have snacks and stuff for the kids and whatever. We're gonna have Santa Claus there uh, the fire truck will pick up Santa Claus and bring him to the park and the fire truck will follow through so nobody will get hurt and stop traffic and stuff like that so uh, probably we could get a hold of the sheriff's department that night to block off the over by the church and the fire truck up behind the kids so there won't be anybody pulling up behind them so and we're Went out for some donations from different people and stuff, so we hope to have a couple hundred kids if we can there and stuff. So Chris and I come up with this to do this again and stuff like that. So everybody's going to get involved and have a good time. Also, I have uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Juno for putting up the little library in the Ralph's Park. I'd like to have an executive session to talk about personnel. Second. All those in favor going to executive session? Aye. 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 All those opposed? We'll have an executive session. And seeing that we got a new pickup truck, I'd like to see the box sprayed in it. So it doesn't mark it up all and stuff. To, so if we want to sell it in a couple of years or whatever, at least a 
it won't be all dented up and stuff. And also the last thing I have is uh, did we find out about the fire department roof? We did. So um, Adam went and looked at it and um, what Adam indicated is the roof needs to be replaced in his own personal opinion. So what we're going to have to do is uh, reach out to some contractors, get some second opinions. It's, um, as some of you may know, it's a, it's a flat rubber membrane roof with stone on top of it. My suggestion may be to probably get a price as far as maybe putting some truss and go with a, a metal roof over the top of it, if that's possible. Um, or to find out what it's going to cost to replace it with another uh, rubber membrane roof. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Arnold? No, that's all I have for now, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Trustee Bernard? Um, just one thing. Um, I'd like to thank the village crew. We had uh, village cleanup days uh, last week, week before, and I seen there was a lot of brush out and leaves and everything. They did a great job of cleaning everything up, chipping it. So, you know, thank you for the to the village crew. And that's all I have. Okay, thank you. Trustee Pelkey? Yes, I have a couple things. Um, I want to let the people know that there's opportunity for employment with Village Rouses Point. We are currently looking for people to work here in the rec center. Um, along with our electric department, we're looking for personnel for our electric department. Um, we do advertise. Sometimes uh, the local uh, advertisement is a lot better than, you know, putting it in the paper, you know, maybe seeing it on on our uh, hometown cable, people would uh, realize that we are looking for people to come to work for the village. Um, it's a good opportunity. Um, like I said, currently we have opportunities for the rec center and for our electric department. Uh, the second thing I have is I'm, we met with, um, last meeting I brought up about putting a, a potential drive-in along the fence on the north uh, west side of the property here that goes to the stage so the food trucks and the van uh, vehicles wouldn't be driving over the path and uh, today we went out and we looked at uh, the possibility of getting this done and uh, we met with uh, the mayor and Mr. Lattimore and myself and uh, public works supervisor Adam and uh, he's going to take some shots to see if we can get some drainage in there because there is a water problem of course um, so we're going to try to alleviate the water from that area, then take the grindings from Smith Street, the bulk grindings, and, and put it in a base so we can get vehicles out there, um, emergency vehicles, in case you need an ambulance out there, uh, the food trucks, they're, they're driving down the walk pass, and eventually it's going to destroy the, you know, the walk pass and the property. So, um, so hopefully we can get some measurements and some shots on the elevations for the drains and will work out for us. I had a pretty good feeling today that I, I, I think it's going to work. So. I did too, and I, th I thought your idea of possibly expanding in the future of maybe getting some handicapped parking for the people to get closer to the stage yes. and some of the events that are held in that stage area was an excellent idea. Uh, we know that there's a lot of people that have some disabilities, but we'd like to have them participate in anything they can that we give in this village, so I thought that was a very good idea also. Um, the last thing, I have one question on the Kubota tractor. Um, that is to replace the Bowens, correct? That is correct. <clears throat> okay. I just want to make that. Okay. Anything else, no. Trustee Bunky? That's all I have. Trustee Rodriguez? Um, the only thing I have is I just want to remind everybody that tomorrow's election day. You go out and exercise your right to vote. You can come to the Civic Center and do that. Very good. Um, Officer Cooper, you got anything you want to report? No, sir, I'm going to report. I, I went to examine that building you asked me to, and uh, I wanted to get with you on that so we can get with some other people to see what we're going to do with that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, uh, anyone else from the public want to address anything that's been said here today? If, if not, then uh, I need a, a motion to go into executive session. I make a motion to recess. The recess. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? <coughs> We're going to executive session. <coughs>